The lifespan of an adult mayfly consists of 30 minutes to 48 hours. With only seconds before its demise, the mayfly reproduces. It is either by cruel irony or sheer poeticism that the mayfly often dies cradling life. The doctor could have just placed caution tape around her body. He could have saved a lot of time if he'd only thought to call the morgue before he drew the white chalk outlines on an x-ray of her womb. Instead, he spent more than two hours describing both the growth of a lump of tissue in her body and the small cancerous mass below, as if they were bonded in some co-conspiracy against her body, plodding like two felonious punks locked behind the bars of her ribcage. He described it like they've been there fuming and fighting in a desperate attempt to escape and had finally decided that the only way out was to burn the whole thing down. Note to self, should you ever find you are at war with your body, assume you will have to destroy parts of yourself in order to preserve yourself. If such is the case, do not hesitate. Point the barrel at your belly, aim and shoot. squad of tools, Cassandra felt she just could not do it. Even if it was just a lump in a tumor, she knew in her heart that for her, the two would never be the same. Both were killing her, but one she had already named. And so the greatest irony of her dying would be this simple fact. She had actually chosen life. And two small almond-shaped eyes, put slightly apart by the thumbs of the divine, no Poised in a downward crescendo, opening like a window into a symphony of sound just below. A little scream, sweeter than the sea sirens know. But like Odysseus, Cassandra should have known there were more subtle chords of death that underscored her song. That is why Odysseus had his arms tied to the mast of a moving ship just so he could hear the siren song as he safely passed by. For hers was the kind of beauty for which men had died. But you played this smart Odysseus and escaped with your life. Cassandra, why did you stop and listen to her song? Why did you listen when the doctors told you your heart was only strong enough to save one life? And then you so much as tried to live more than five pounds, Cassandra, you will die. But then came the night when she lay in the bed with the baby in the crib by her side. And she heard the rustling covers, a soft cry and her falling. And quick as the wings of a mayfly, she flung her arms open wide. And just like a mayfly, she died as she lived, embracing life.